Best Streamlabs OBS Settings for Streaming Call of Duty Having the best Streamlabs OBS settings for streaming Call of Duty improves video quality and gameplay capture for viewers. Now if you are going to go ahead and stream COD, here is the best one for you. Now go ahead and click the settings in here. Now there are just two things that we are going to go ahead and look at in here. Number one is going to be the video, so I'm going to click the video here. Now for the base or canvas resolution, this is going to talk about our native resolution or our PC's resolution. So currently I have this one at 1920 by 1080 p Now if you don't know what is your base canvas resolution, then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get it. Now go ahead and click this one here and then we're just going to go ahead and write display. So this one here, duplicate or extend to a connected display. Go ahead and open this one here. Now here you should be able to see here your display resolution. So as you can see the recommended here is 1920 by 1080 p Now if I were to click this one you can see a lot of resolutions in here but again go ahead and make sure to choose something that has a recommended in it. Now in my case I'm using that one already so I'm going to close this one. Now for the output or scaled resolution go ahead and choose the maximum one because again we want to have the best possible quality. For the downscale filter, we don't need this one because there is no downscaling needed. So if ever, for example, you're going to change this one to 720p, that is the time that you're going to use a downscale filter. But again, we are just using 1080p for output. And then for the base, it's also 1080p. So this is definitely not very much useful for us. However, if say for example there is a downscale happening, then go ahead and make sure to choose Langsus. So it is going to give us a 32 sample, so that is a very high and I like that one. It is going to give you a best quality possible. For the FPS type, again this is a game COD, there is a lot of movement going to happen. So go ahead and make sure that you are using 60 FPS. And then for the FPS type, it's common FPS values. Now another tab that we are going to look at is the output. Now for the output, make sure that you are in the streaming section. Now in the streaming section, we have here encoder. For the encoder, we have NVIDIA NVENC H264. So if you are to click this one, you have here two kinds of NVIDIA NVENC. One that has a new in it, but yeah, I think this one is more stable. So I prefer using this one here. Now go ahead and scroll down for the rate control. Make sure that it's CBR or constant bit rate. If you're going to use any other, say for example, variable bitrate, it is going to change depending on the movement or what is the movement of what you're streaming. Now, for the bitrate, we want to have high quality possible. So the highest one that you could put here is 8000, but you also have to remember the people who are going to be watching your stream. So there might be a chance that they won't have as strong as internet as you have. So go ahead and make some changes and adjust this one to 6000. Now for the keyframe interval, we're going to change this to 2. And then for the preset, we're going to change it to quality. Uh, don't max it out again. You don't want your audience to have a hard time watching your stream. Now once you're done with that, go ahead and click the audio. Now for the audio, make sure that the audio bitrate is set to 320. Alright, just like so. Um, I'm using three audio tracks here. So the audio track number one is what I'm using for desktop sounds. And then for the audio track number two is for microphone. Audio track number three is for music. So yep, that's just about it. Now go ahead and click done and then start playing Call of Duty. So congratulations everybody, that is the best Streamlabs OBS settings for streaming Call of Duty. Anyway, if you're interested in kicking off your streaming career with Streamlabs, click the link in the description box in order to save yourself up to $20 of discount. And as always, please check our channel for detailed Streamlabs tutorial. We have various levels of tutorials from the most basic ones such as how to set it up, all the way to things like using Streamlabs to stream to TikTok, fixing black screen, and so many others. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if it helps you out.